Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's so good to see you and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a Mexican Christmas time tradition and it is for tamales. I am so excited about this. I adore tamales. Love them so, so very much. My children love them and I'm going to be making a pork and red sauce version today so excited about this. This is a traditional food made around Christmas time in Mexico and for good reason because they are very labor intensive. These are precious little bundles of food that are made in large numbers because of the amount of time and labor involved in making these beautiful things. Tamales, if you've never had them before, are wrapped in corn husks. They consist of a corn masa dough inside and they're stuffed with meats. It could be chicken, it could be pork, it could be beef, and sometimes a red sauce or a green sauce. Today I'm going to be making a red sauce version. The recipe I'm following today comes from Jauja Cocina Mexicana. I'll put a link down below to their original video. Love their channel, make so many delicious delicious dishes and I used their recipe for pan de muerto and it turned out beautifully so I'm excited to try the tamales recipe as well. As I mentioned earlier, tamales is a very labor intensive dish and I've actually spread out some of the work over a period of a couple days. So first I prepared my pork. So I took about three pounds of pork shoulder and cut it into large pieces and a small onion cut in half added six cloves of garlic, covered it with water, and one tablespoon of salt. Now I brought this all to a boil and then reduced the heat down to a simmer, covered it and simmered it on low for about two hours or until the pork was super tender. Once the pork was completely cooked, I drained it of the broth and I used a couple of forks to shred it all up. Set that aside and make sure to preserve the broth. This is super important. This is full of tasty goodness and we're going to use it to flavor our masa. Next, we need to make our salsa, which is going to give our tamales tons of flavor. I use nine New Mexico chiles and two ancho chiles. Remove the stem, cut the chili open and take out all of the seeds. Once you've done that, place them into a small saucepan and cover them with water and bring that up to a boil and you're going to simmer this for about 25 minutes or until the chiles are really soft and tender. In the bowl of our blender, we're gonna add a quarter of a yellow onion, three cloves of garlic, and our rehydrated chilies. We're also gonna add that chili water as well. We wanna puree this till it's nice and smooth. Next, you're gonna take that same saucepan, empty it out, and heat up about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. When that's nice and toasty, pour in your puree, and we're going to cook this up and concentrate the flavors. Add in a half teaspoon of salt. Once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna reduce this to a simmer and cook it for 25 minutes. So we also have to prepare our corn husk, which will hold the tamales together. So the day before you're going to prepare your tamales, take your corn husk, place them in a large container, cover them with hot water, and then weight the corn husks down because you want them completely submerged. If you're in a rush, you can also do this in a couple hours. Use really, really hot water, cover them entirely, and again, make sure they're submerged. Next, we need to prepare the masa, which consists of a masa dough, which you can purchase fresh from a Mexican grocer, but I don't live near one, so I wasn't able to do that. But you can also use masa seca, which is dried instant masa that comes in a bag. And you're gonna take one and a quarter pounds of that and add three cups of your reserved pork broth to that. Stir that all together until it forms a nice dough. And this yielded about two and a half pounds of masa, which we're now going to incorporate with lard. Lard is a beautiful fat, and in this case, it is rendered pork lard. Now, I'm gonna be using a combination of store-bought pork lard and pork lard that I rendered myself. I took some of the fat that came from my pork shoulder and cut it up into small pieces, put it into a saucepan, and on medium-low heat, cook that until all the fat rendered out. You wanna stir that occasionally, otherwise your little chicharron will stick and burn. You don't want that because they're delicious. So you're gonna stir that occasionally and let all that fat render out. Scoop out the chicharron, salt them, have them as a delicious, tasty snack, and then pour the liquid lard into a jelly jar, some kind of heat safe jar, and allow that to cool. So that's what I have here. 
This is the homemade lard that I made and this is store-bought lard. And this is a total of 10 ounces or about two thirds of a pound. So this is the largest container I have. I've seen women using really large plastic tubs. Hopefully this will be enough to accommodate this batch. I should mention this is not the first time I made tamales. I made them years and years and years ago back when I was living in Montana and I had more time and no kids. <laughs> and even then this was just a labor of love. So it's taken me that long to make it again. Alrighty, here we go. So I'm gonna add my lard to my container here. It's gonna take about 30 minutes to make our masa and most of this work is done by hand. But Jeanette says we can do this whipping part with an electric hand mixer. Great, so let's do this. We're gonna cream this until it's nice and fluffy. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Before I forget, I'm gonna add our salt. One and a quarter teaspoons. This is kosher salt and one tablespoon of baking powder. Now we're gonna take the masa that we made earlier and just crumble it into the lard. So we're gonna incorporate the lard into the masa. And then we're also going to add two and a half cups of more reserved pork broth into this until we have a really smooth, beautiful paste. So be patient here and do this slowly. All right, my lovelies, I'm back. My masa dough is complete. It is a workout to be sure, but this is going to be worth it. Over here, I've got some ribbons of corn husks that I tore into strips, and these are gonna bind the tamales together so they hold their shape while they're cooking. So over here, I've got a large steamer. I have about two inches of water at the bottom, and I have a tray, and that will elevate the tamales and keep them from being in the water. We're going to steam these after all. Over here, I have my hus. I've taken them out of the water and then wiped them down with a dishcloth to get any excess water off of them. So let's finally put these together. We're gonna to take our corn husk, a nice wide one, and we're going to take the masa we made, and I'm going to spread the masa out thinly, spread it all the way to the bottom of the husk, but we're gonna leave about an inch of a border on the sides. Like this. We're gonna take some pork. Delicious. Now we're gonna take this beautiful salsa we made. <sighs> Pour that right on top. That looks gorgeous. Look at that. The masa meet the masa. So fold it in half. Fold this over to seal, and then we're gonna push to get any air bubbles out. Fold this up like that. See that? Now we have a little pouch. So cool. Look at that beautiful pouch. Tie this little beautiful bundle up. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Look how stinking cute and beautiful and adorable and absolutely perfect that is. That is love right there, right there. Beautiful package of love. That makes me so happy. We're gonna place these vertically into our steamer so the contents don't spill all over the place. Once the water comes to a boil and the steam starts coming up, we're gonna steam them for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. When the corn husk peels away from the masa very easily, we know they are ready. And then we can finally eat our beautiful tamales. I cannot wait. So let's make one more and we're gonna spread. Jeanette says about a third of a cup. I'm gonna just grab my pork with my fingers. Some of this beautiful salsa. Fold this in half. Fold this over. And then pinch that and fold that up. So I'll come back here in a couple hours and we can finally taste our tamales. Okay, you seen a little bit. My lovelies, here we are. We're finally going to eat the fruits of our labors. After an hour of steaming, the tamales are ready. You ready to see this? Here we go. Dun dun dun. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. After I made all of my tamales, I covered them with another layer of corn husk and then I put a cloth on top. This is to help absorb any excess steam and 
condensation so the water doesn't get into our tamales and kind of get them all soggy. So let's peel this back. Look at that. Whole army of blazing hot tamales. Keep these covered and warm because guess what we're having for dinner? Let's go ahead and eat our tamal. Pull this off here. Beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. Merry Christmas and buen provecho. So delicious. Piping hot and steamy. The masa is tender and fluffy and so rich with all of that lard we put in there. The salsa has coated every bit of that meat and is not spicy, but has a really lovely chili flavor. The pork is tender. Delicious. The perfect feast for Christmas and a perfect gift too. Tamales freeze very, very well. So if you make a whole bunch of them, you can wrap them after they cool and freeze them and then take them out, warm them back up. Mm. Enjoy the beauties that are these little packets of love. So there you have it, my lovelies. Homemade tamales, a beautiful holiday tradition and beautiful eats as well. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.